Welcome to our coding tutorial. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working with collapsible elements in their applications. Our viewer is facing an issue with a collapsed model that displays client information. They want to know how to ensure that when they click a button inside this model, they only retrieve the specific client's data rather than all clients' information. Let's dive into this challenge and explore how we can solve it together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you're looking for. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy, just like me and hopefully you work through to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. To create a button inside a collapsible section that correctly references a specific client, we need to ensure that the button's action is tied to the correct client data. In your HTML, you have a list of clients generated by ng-repeat. Each client has a collapsible section that shows more details. We need to modify the button to ensure it uses the correct client data. Next, we need to ensure that the state configuration in AppJS correctly receives the client data. The parameter should be set to the specific client's code client. Finally, in your modifclient.html, ensure that you filter the clients based on the code client passed from the button. This will allow you to display the correct client's information. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To create a link in a button inside a collapse, use the nhref directive from AngularJS. Alternatively, you can use ng-click. A common issue arises when nesting anchor tags. To fix this, replace the anchor tag with a div when the collapse is shown. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. Create a button with a link inside a collapse using Angular's UI router. Use the UI SREF attribute instead of href. This allows you to navigate to a specific state in your application. If you need to pass parameters, you can include them in the UI SREF like this. Make sure to update your state settings to accept these parameters. Don't forget to update your controller to handle the new parameter. Add a variable for code client and ensure it can be updated from the UI DAS ref. Finally, in your HTML, you can display the code client variable directly without needing ng repeat. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To create a hyperlink in a button inside a collapse, start by changing the button code to an anchor tag with the class button button info. Use ng-href to link to the desired state.
Next, in your app.js file, use the state service in your controller to load client data. This allows you to access the code client parameter. Finally, update the state provider to define the new state with the URL and controller for modif client. And that's it guys. I hope you found the answer that you're looking for and got to that resolution in the end. If you did, please take a moment, hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. Until the next time you need more technical videos, I hope you have a great day. Cheers.